What's going on guys? Welcome to another random video on this channel and you might hear crickets in the background because it's kind of late But I wanted to post a video on this channel for a few reasons. One, I know some people who've been posting to my channel I actually looked at some older videos and that was about a month ago and I was like wow some of these people have been following my videos for years now So I really do appreciate the participation now besides that you guys know that I've been having issues with my Nexus 6 You know this is the thing I tried to download that OT update then I get that error icon and people are telling me you should just reinstall a factory image The one thing that was stopping me from installing a factory image to this phone was like I don't want to break the phone or brick it so I was trying to be really careful about that but this is the thing once you can get some things working on your computer and then when you connect your phone with a USB you're all good to go and then you just got to type in some commands and you can actually reinstall that factory image now this is what I did I actually downloaded the factory image for my Nexus 6 I got that from the Android developers website now I could have installed the latest update but I wasn't really sure which one to update with but I did see one of them that said all these carrier names all that kind of stuff. I was like, oh, I gotta select that one. So I downloaded it from my phone, and then once I installed that from my phone, I was actually able to update it pretty quickly. It re-downloaded it. So I think what happened with my phone could have been a couple of things. Maybe I installed an application that had some access to my phone and kind of messed the phone up. That's a possibility. Or the update just didn't work and it wasn't downloaded properly, and I had to do that just to get it re-downloaded. And this is what happens when you factory image, especially if it's a previous version of Android. What it'll do is just re-download that update and then you could fix things. Now, from my experience with my Mac computer, there were a few challenges in the beginning. You have to install a Java environment, so you have to go to the Java website, and that's a Java runtime environment, and that'll allow you to use some tools that you want to for this. You can download the Android Studio, and you're gonna get the Android SDK, and then you'll get ADB tools where you can actually connect your phone and get access to it through your computer, and then type in some commands, and then you can download what you want, like a factory image, and install it. And another way of doing this is just downloading the Android SDK, and then getting access again to the ADB tools and then you'll have fast boot also and this will allow you one to actually again get access to your phone through your computer and then you can reboot it and then you might even have to unlock the bootloader which is something I had to do because my bootloader wasn't unlocked and basically all that means is you're going to be able to install that factory image. Now this thing with the Mac computer one thing I noticed when I wanted to get access to the Android SDK is that there's file permissions and that would not allow the Android SDK to install properly so this is the thing you have to make sure that you have all those right permissions so when you download these things they work properly and then along with all of that you have to make sure that when you type in these commands that you follow really closely with what the person is doing especially if you're following a tutorial so you have to be really careful when you do this and is it a challenge you know I keep saying the word challenge with all of this the average person who uses an Android phone if they never brewed their phone if they never installed a factory image they might be intimidated by trying something like this I can get that so right now when you want a factory reset your phone that's the first option you might want to clear the cache that's another option but when all of those things don't work, then you have to start talking about installing that factory image to your phone. And the thing is, you can always try to fix these things or you can contact your carrier. But the thing with the carrier is that they're going to say, hey, just bring it to the store. If it doesn't work, we're going to give you a new phone. But the problem with that is that when they say new phone, often it means a refurbished phone. So with my carrier, I did not want to do that. So I chose to do it this way on the Mac computer. If you have an OTA update and there's any problems with that, I say factory image and install that, it works for me, and then even if you don't install the latest factory image, like a recent one, you can get that update. And the factory image is from the Android website, so you're not gonna have any problems with that. You know, they provide the most recent one. And then talking about some new updates from Android, everyone's talking about this Android Marshmallow, so that's the next thing. I did not really want to install that on my phone because if we're talking about Marshmallow and it's just a test version of Android, I didn't want that running on my phone. So what I'm using right now is the most recent version of Android that is in full complete mode, and I think we're gonna get Android Marshmallow in the upcoming months. We'll see what happens. So anyways, I'd like to know if you guys have any experience using an Android device. Let me know if you guys ever installed a factory image to your Android phone or you guys want to learn more about that. Of course, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.